Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. Today we are in Chapter 12, Lesson 8, Hands-On, Use Models to Find the Volume. We are beginning this homework on 953, page 953. Please make sure that you've watched the Math Antics video, Finding the Volume of Prisms, before you dive into this, and you have also sent me a video of you flipping through your guided practice pages. It'll make this homework lesson so much easier. All right, let's dive on in. Remember another way to think of these is as if you're stacking sugar cubes. There isn't any laps or overlaps on any of them. Centimeter cubes were used to build the rectangular prism shown. There's a rectangle right here. The table shows the number of cubes used to build each layer. I want you to recognize the pattern. So the length, three, the width is two, and the height is six. Nope, sorry, the height is one for each layer, my bad. My bad. So then one, two, three, four, five, six is how many cubes are in each layer. And it completes the pattern. So there's six on this layer, six, six, and six. So that we know when we times those together, one, two, three, four, four times six is 24 cubic centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed. All right, let's do a vocabulary check. Let's talk about this. Volume is the amount of blank inside a three-dimensional figure. Now remember, Math Antics had a really good way of explaining this. It was talking about if you took one of these cubes or this whole cube thing here, and this was a box, and you peeled away the box, and inside was a, a cube of ice. Volume would be like that cube of ice. So volume is the amount of space inside the three-dimensional figure. A cube with a side length of one unit is called a unit cube. The volume of a rectangular prism can be found by multiplying the length times the something times the height. Yep, volume is when you do length times width times height. Okay, let's turn to 954. Okay, number four. How many cubes were needed to build layer one? Okay, if you're in a hurry, you'll probably try to count all of those, but it only wants to know how many in that layer one. So we have one, two. So we have two. One, two, three, four. Two times four equals eight cubes. So that's our layer one or our base. Okay, complete the table below. So let's figure this out. We have two, and the width is four, and each layer has only one cubic in it. So the number of cubes would be eight, eight. And you could just continue that pattern because that continues for each layer. Layer three is the same. I love it when they have nice rectangular prisms. In a few chapters, you're going to be dealing with some um, objects this is what happens when I try to talk all right at the same time. You're going to be dealing with some objects that are not quite rectangular prisms. That's why they're going really basic in this lesson to have you realize how many are in each one. And for some reason, I just really want to write a three, but it's supposed to be a two. All right, that's what it looks like, folks. How many cubes were used to build this prism? This is where you go one, two, three, four, five. Five times eight equals 40 cubes. So the volume of the prism is 40 centimeters cubed. Good job. Problem solving. Samar, Samar? Samar knows that the volume of a prism is 40 cubic units. He also knows that the width is 2 units and the height is 5 units. What is the length of the prism? Okay. This is similar to the one we did in the guided practice, where they want you to realize that the, the formula is length times width times height. So they've given us a few of the pieces. So he also knows the width, so volume. We don't know this one just yet. If we know the width is two units and the height is five units, and then we know that the answer is going to be 40. Well, I know that 2 times 5 is 10. So 
We, this is a multiplication problem. What is the opposite of the multiplication? How? What's the inverse operation? You're right, division. So then we can take 40 divided by 10, tuck, take off those zeros, and it equals 4. So we know that 4 is going to be our length. Let's put this together to see if it's a true statement. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Yes, so that we know that the answer that we're looking for here is 4 units is the length. Go ahead and circle that so I can find your answer easily when I look at your homework. Number 9, centimeter cubes were used to build the prism. What is the volume of the prism? Okay, so we find the volume... Again, by doing length times width times height. And I like to write this out so I don't forget anything. All right, the length, one, two, three, four, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times one, two, three. And how tall is it? One, two, three. All right, six times three is 18. 18 times three, well, let's work it out. Remember, when you're doing cubes, you need to do centimeters cubed and circle it so I can find your answer easily. All right, nicely done. That was actually a fun chapter or a fun lesson to do, and it will build. For the next couple of chapters, we're going to be doing some crazy objects on where we have to count the cubes to find the volume. All right, thank you, friends. Appreciate your time. And today you have two topics in IXL you need to work on. So in your IXL math, you need to make sure you do E, E, 11, and E, E, 13. Make sure you do this in math. I had a darling student the other day that, bless their sweet little heart, they went to language arts. So please make sure if your topic that you're doing in IXL doesn't match what we were learning today, you're probably not on the right section. All right, turn that in and just take a picture of your score. Remember, you have to get at least a smart score of 80. And have a great day.